Hello world. We just bought some new rolling equipment. I deleted some maskers. And some stuff I'm not going to use. And we're going to set up to do a big haul. Like, the chuff's a bit loud. I can't really... The train just derailed for no reason. Why did it do that? Freaking game. What is going on here? Why? I have a metric ton of cars, three locos, a 10 mile porter, two, and a porter. Yeah, just these boxcars, maybe they're not good. Maybe the boxcars are not good. This is my first time trying them. Uh, we could stick them up. Holy crap! Stuff is happening. <laughs> I still have it, hold on. There it is. <laughs> this car is cursed. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Holy shit. Wait, why is this chat not working? There it is. That was insane, bro. What the hell? Oh, I can delete this too. I don't want this. You're useless. On this railroad anyway. And we don't need this anymore. We definitely want our climaxes. We're gonna save those. What a mess. Holy smokes. Guess who we're not taking to the party. Next time. Somehow I managed to pick up some wood. Oh, man. These were all attached so nice. Sticky way back here. Has anybody speed tested these way cars? I just got them now, just to try them out, just to have them. The skeleton cars don't really work too well either. They come off randomly. And that, <clears throat> that box car shouldn't have derailed anything. Come on. Come over here. Don't be scared. What the? They go the same speed. I'm afraid to pick this thing up again. Okay. Got ourselves a mess here. Put these suckers back together because I like to be neat and tidy. Not all the time, but. This guy. Oh, it derailed because my fault. Three way switch. Uh. Oh, we're going for a ride. These cars are cursed. Boy, three-way switches are deadly. They're not spring switches, so... 
Yep. You know, I had to try one three-way switch. Totally forgot I had it. I'm stuck here. I'm stuck. I can't move. Uh, why is there two pins there? It re-railed with a pin in it. This game's not being nice to me today. Not at all. These are here just for looks, really. If somebody wants to run a passenger train, they can, basically. We do a couple layouts where we have passenger trains run on their own. If you see it, you have to go and put fuel in it. those locos right there and we will go grab these other oil cars <laughs> 40 plus cars passenger train well that was my first that was a first derailing on a three-way switch um this line here is always so confusing. So how are you like in a new update? Yeah, that's that sucks. I don't you can't have more than like two people on really. Unless you have like a T one connection or something. Let's make sure these are disconnected from here. I don't think they are, they're not. Yeah, the different cars look nice together. I did different paint schemes on this one just to change it up a little bit. Make sure all these brakes are off. They are. I'm still gonna need that open. That's weird, it shows it on the back of the train. I never seen it put the loco on the back of the train. That's kind of weird. Yeah, I, I've done that too, on a different map. And you just kind of run around and stop at every industry along the way. 
That's more more fun, actually. That's what this map is good for, believe it or not, because it's so small. I was doing it with 30 car trains on this map. <clears throat> uh, 10 of each car. And then stopping at the different industries along the way. And because it's different than the default map, it really mixes it up. Intermodel storage yard. How many how many cars you have on your map? Yeah, the default is boring. Okay, so that's that's not too many. You yeah, once you start and I have I probably have seventy or eighty cars here now. And about seven or eight logos, I guess. But I won't go any more than that. Nice. This is like my fifth complete map. Five or six complete maps I have. I have two two maps with nothing but old track on them. <clears throat> I don't think I don't know what they're good for. But I don't want to get rid of them because I got really fancy bridge work and stuff on it. This is a heavy train. having fun on this one. Still figuring out the optimal way to operate this one. Why isn't it going in? There it is now. Iron works in lumber yard or swapped. Smelter and refinery swapped. I gotta back this train up a little. I think we want to be about there. Nope, we want to go forward. This should line up now. I think we're good. Oh, 
All right. Ironworks in number order swap, the smelter refinery swap, coal and iron mines in the valley behind the oil field. Interesting. And refineries, so is a lot more flat ground with fewer steep grades. Interesting. But the whole point of narrow gauge was to climb the hills, though. Anyway, that's what I like to do. That's the fun part for me is climbing the grades. The challenge of trying to get heavy load up a steep grade. Yeah, that's good too. Then you only have to use one engine, really. You don't have to have multiple engines. And you can pull long ass trains pretty effortlessly if you're mostly on flat ground. We have a mini map that was basically all flat ground until I added the iron mine and the coal mine up a little bit. But we only have a 1.5% grade. Max, and then I have I have stock maps with 1.5% grade max. So 1.5 is pretty easy to work on. You know what's weird? He makes n they make new tank cars, and the lids work, but then fix the old lids. Yep. I made a post about that in the Steam forum. I'm like, why don't you fix all the bugs first before releasing new content? Because if you, if you add stuff on top of bugs, and then that has bugs, then you're compounding stuff. Why would you want to compound problems like that? I mean, they got enough people reporting the bugs. It's not like they don't know. I mean, the only thing I can think of is, you know, maybe there's only one person working on bugs, but then the whole rest of the team is working on everything else, so... The bugs don't get fixed, but the other stuff is still going to happen. I don't know.
we play with one of the devs and he kind of gives us some insight but you know if you're a dev you're only going to talk positive about the game and I'm not trying to bash the game. I, this is the, the best rail sim out there. <clears throat> what what this game has accomplished has been amazing. I think just a little more attention to a couple things and really help out a lot. Nice. On to the bug sheet. <laughs> coal in here real fast. Come on, give me the coal. Where'd that shovel go? Where did that shovel go? Have you tried this weird thing where a switch will just try and switch to a different line from the time to time when a local is on it yeah yeah you don't want to you don't want to leave your loco on a switch and load a game up that's a no-no I've had stuff go flying because of that too all right should load up on the other side and then we can make this train up we're gonna do all 20 cars it took three locos to get 10 cars up to where I got the refiner so we're gonna need six locos like a good challenge these cars are heavy I think I've tried to load up oil on the other side of this platform. Let's see how it works. Okay. We actually want to switch this switch. Assuming you cheated and gave yourself money. 
I never feel bad about giving myself money because my first railroad, I earned 400000 without cheating. And I can't use that railroad anymore. Should have been doing both trains at the same time. Ooh, this looks like it's not going to make it. Oh, it's making it. That's good. Good. I have to open these controls. The eight, the eight fills up so fast. Play unrealistic. That's why it's going to take six engines to pull this train up. I like the challenge. What am I jumping in here? I don't want to be in here. I want to control it from the platform. I like to stand right about here. How long you've been playing? Remember the, the days when Betsy used to be able to haul any amount of cars. Those were good times. Oh, you do, you do. Okay, cool. And just talking about that made me think of that. Yeah, I had 10% grades on my first map, which my first map got deleted like three times, and then I just kept building over it. I still have that map. That's one of my biggest maps. Luckily, we had the tools to clean it all up and stuff. I could get rid of a lot of the stuff that didn't belong there and... Optimize connection points and lower the segment count and spline count. I guess I should keep an engine in the middle of the train and one on the back and the other four in the front.
plenty of oil here. Non rail version? What does that mean? Okay. No trees. You take all the trees out. Trees in industry is no rails. So what are you doing on it? Starting from scratch? Is that what you're trying to say? Two more cars. Okay. See, Discord is good for that. I use Discord to save all my, my saves. I have a separate text channel for each one of my maps. And as I work on it, I just save the map into the text channel. Now it's on, it's basically in the cloud. I also save it elsewhere on my computer too. Yeah, if you go, I'll send you an invite to my Discord. You can check out the You check out all the maps if you want and the stuff we're doing in there. All right. So, I think we're going to put these in the front of the train. Discord servers are free, so yeah, CDs in it. Yeah. This train's facing the wrong way. We're gonna have to back up and turn it around. Pretty positive we're going to need all six locos.
you know, what I do is uh, I pin the latest, I try to anyway, pin the latest version of the save to the channel. So I don't have to go digging through it and pin. Every time I make a map, I pin the empty version of the map too. All right, can get rid of this now. We can synchronize. I'm gonna ride the back of the train. And we're gonna back up. going to go to the Y and turn the train around. Oh, this is going to be nasty. This is just going to be so nasty. Yeah, this map is more like a like a shunting challenge. Yeah. It's fun. This is the main yard of the whole map. And they're like this because there's the coal mine is here, the sawmill is here, the oil is here, the coal mine, uh, the iron mine is there. But there's a very big height difference between all of these. The, the logging camp is here, and then back here is the oil refinery, smelter, ironworks. All, almost everything is at a different height. Just the sawmill and the oil fields are on the same height. Yeah, uh, Ian, that was the original mini-map, and, and we did, I can't even show it to you, I think I even have it, go to Railroad Studio, choose file, this is the original mini-map, this is all old track, so everything is in one valley, but I moved the mines up to the mountains. We had a lot of fun on that mini map. This is like a three dimensional mini map because everything is on a different level. So the challenge is switching everything, setting up your trains, and then climbing the hills. A lot of scuttle butting. <laughs> This, this map would, is a lot of fun with multiple people because you run into each other all the time. Whereas, like, the, the, the vanilla map, if you run with a couple people, you almost never run into each other. I think I have empty versions of all these maps in my Discord. I think the back of the train is going uphill a little bit right now. Hopefully it's got enough momentum here. That's nice. The wheels seem to be going the right revolution for the distance they're traveling.
That is a heavy train right there. We're going to go forward now. Brick shit house. Oh yeah, you'll have a lot of fun. Especially if you play with people. A group of guys on this map would be a load of fun. Will be a load of fun. I gotta fix those links. Now I'm gonna, all I'm doing right now is turning the train around. So I can bring it into the yard and set up the the power. So a lot of preparation to go a short distance. Now, let's see. I think we want everything should be set. Get it over here, and then we could. S yeah. It's something you don't get as a client. <laughs> yeah, the, the goal of this map was to play with a lot of people. We haven't done that yet. I'll probably limit it to eight car trains if we do that. The other mini, mini map was four car trains. That helped with the uh, preventing lag from the physics. A lot of interchanges here. And uh, how the hell are you? I got sound alerts now. Just got him active. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Gurar. That engine over there is just a museum piece, that's all it is. Oh yes, yeah, streaming again? Nice. Yeah, there's a lot of new stuff to play with. And some and some bugs to go along with it.
Sometimes the bugs is what makes it fun. <laughs> Depending which bug we're talking about. Slide. So they made these brakes work, right? Why couldn't they do it to all the engines? I mean, you did one, why not do the others? Right, let's disconnect this. Oh, wait, wait, I can't go anywhere. I forgot about this darn switch. I'm surprised the engine didn't go flying right there. I don't like that switch. Oh, my train broke. Oh, this is not going to be fun. The train broke already. Why did it break? Because the link is there, but the pin isn't. I guess locking up the brakes is a... I must have programmed something in there. Oh, this one engine is trying to push a lot of cars. We had a runaway train. Three ways, jank and a hat. Nice. Automod. Held the message for reasons. Sex based terms. Allow will post it to chat. So, I'm sorry, mate. That's new. I don't know. Uh. I'm allowing it, whatever. I allowed I allowed the message. I shouldn't lock up the brakes. That's what caused the problem in the first place. I guess having the engine in the middle of the train is... Not the brightest of ideas. I have it on for now, just trying it out. Oh, this is a big train, and it's heavy. Once or twice I've had people come in here and just say stupid stuff. Why didn't I go? I did throw that switch. 
You saw me throw the switch. Switch is thrown. Oh, that was loud. Somebody play a sound alert. I want to make sure they work. I haven't... I've tried it on myself, but... I don't know if it works with other people. Hey, yeah, go to bed, man. <laughs> That's a long way... Um, we're going to have to take both these engines here. This is going to take quite a bit to set up six engines. I've never done that before. We're mixing it up. Got a little bit of wood power in here, too. We'll just drag this engine over. It's already on zero. All right, we want to put this at the front of the train. So we need to turn it around. You don't see the sound alert? It's on the right side of the screen in the middle. Maybe if you hover your mouse over it. It'll appear. This is not working. Oh my god. I don't think I have a passing track here. We might have to go all the way around to get these engines on the front of the train. Channel points. Let's see. Go to Twitch. To Twitch. Should be right here. It's a little purple icon. Sound alerts. Uh, yep. Do I have a passing track here? I'm just going to put it. I'm just going to back up and put these engine backwards. Screw it. So. Okay, that's how that works. Hello, train. All right. The brake should be off on that. So what if these engines are facing backwards? 
I'm not driving them all the way around. These engines link themselves together. I think that's because I had the linking option set for this engine. I might have to take that off. No, don't buy no bits. You don't have to do that. I need to make some... Uh, yeah, this is one of my map mods. Yep. Sorry, I wasn't trying to get you to buy bits. I didn't know you had to buy them. I gotta put some free ones up there for you guys. I don't exactly know how to do that right at this moment. But the next time, I'll have a couple of free ones in there. Isn't there a way, like, you can use points or something, right? For sound alerts. That's what I thought it was. Uh, yep, we are good here. Actually, we want to take this and unlink this. Too fast. Look at that coupler. Maybe I should put the Draw bar over here. No, dude, you don't. You don't have to spend nothing on me, bro. All right. This whole train should be linked, so I'm gonna go back and fill up all the boilers. All six boilers. <laughs> Nervous. I am nervous. Legitimately nervous about this run. Should be able to make it up there with one filling of the fireboxes. And last but not least, you. By the time I get to the first loco, the last loco is empty. <laughs> Oh my goodness, here we go. Six locos, 20 cars. What could go wrong? Oh, you mean you like your subscription ran out? Is that what you're looking at? We're gonna take it nice and easy and make sure we're going down the right track. This is 
gotta be switched. This has to be switched. I think we're good the rest of the way. Oh wow. Frame rate drop. Warning. Oh, you subscribed. You didn't have to do that, man. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. Very nice of you, Panda. Definitely did not want to go fast with this. I'm, I'm, I'm warning you guys right now. If I derail, I'm quitting. It's, it's too late. I need to go to bed. I won't have enough time. Thirteen months? Damn, bro. <laughs> Twelve days left. <laughs> Very nice of you. Much appreciated. You were my first subscriber. I'm, uh... I'm working on my own game, by the way. Hopefully in about a year or two, I might have a, my own train game. Man, this thing went through some coal pretty fast. All these engines sound so cool together. Yeah, something like railroads, but with other features. Combination of things. I'm going for more, even more realism. Is the whole train still together? Yes, the miracle. All right, here we go. We're going up three percent, going into four. I may have some other intermediate games come out before then. Just stupid little games. Which I'll probably give away for free. They won't be train games. But they will help me learn programming. I'm trying to learn Blender and Unreal Engine all together. 80% throttle. Oh my god. Eighty percent throttle, twenty five FPS and a dream. Be careful with the skeleton cars and the box cars are cursed. Especially when you go to rerail them. I had one take out part of my yard before. Alright. If we made it to this point with the train, we're going to make it all the way. Well, if we don't derail. But we have enough power to make it up the grade. And we're just going to take it nice and easy. Let the computer do its calculating. 
forgot to turn this on though. Keep things a little cool. All right, we're picking up speed. We don't want that. Six locos. Is the whole train still there? It is. Three different kinds of locos and six total locos. Man, the time went by so fast playing this game. Holy crap. Oh, yeah. Are you in my Discord? Are you a member of my Discord? I had that idea once, too. I was going to just download save files from Minizerg and review them, but I never got to it. It's very time consuming. You could spend a couple days on each one. I gotta go easy on the throttle. I shouldn't just drop the throttle out like that. I'll give you the link. Um, hopefully this still works. Try that. Hopefully it didn't expire. <clears throat> this I have several maps in there. So if you want it, you know, you could take them and play around with them. We are coasting home here. While you're in there, check out the Mid Journey channel. That's a lot of fun. Artificial intelligent art.
Oh, this is a sharp turn. God, I gave it 2% throttle to sound like it was going to take off like a rocket ship. This is sick, dude. And I'm getting 30 FPS. That's pretty good. Game is definitely performing better. Overall. If this was my old map with six engines and 20 cars, I'd be getting 15 FPS. So. Oh, I am missing something, though. I took out. I took this out. Mini map, baby. So this map is in with the mini map. Because this is a mini map of sorts. So you'll find two different maps in there. This was the map I built to replace the mini map. Listen to those engines, Chug. Oh my god, unloading. This is going to be a blast. Oh, it's going backwards. doing it. Oil stains. They're long. So far, they work good. <clears throat> the skeleton cars are bugged. I had them come off for no reason. In one part of the map.
engine and that train came to a halt quick. It had so much momentum that it just lost. Oh my goodness. Stop. It's going up a hill. It's going down a hill now. <laughs> Come on. Did the engines break off? No, we still got all the train. Your cylinder cacks are on. Yeah, this is the mini map that plays like a big map. It took me two hours, well, hour and a half to set up this train and make the delivery. Still have to bring it back. All that work. Oh, we have to bring pipes here, huh? Hmm. Got plenty of lumber. This is a long ass train. We gotta set some switches here. Oh, they are set already. Oh, it's 10 by you, yeah. In fact, I might just park this train here, because it's 12 for me. And I got work tomorrow, so... I'll drive this train back next time. Because this might take me a little while. I would call that a success. We don't want to park on a switch. That's a big no-no. I'm going to keep going here and get on the hill. Is our train gonna be clear of the switch? Just right about now. Should be able to come to a stop here. And that's it, man. Panda, thank you again. 
good seeing you. Come around more often. And I will catch you guys later. Peace. Out. My homies.